We have about 35 researchers, scientists, and clinicians focusing on breast cancer at Dartmouth-Hitchcock. They're developing new treatment strategies to go into clinical trials. By participating in clinical trials, patients can gain access to the latest cutting-edge advances in cancer care. I originally had breast cancer in 1995. So 21 years later, I felt disbelief. I was with a different oncologist, but as the therapy that was prescribed then wasn't working anymore, and then the side effects were just really, really difficult, I was referred to Dr. Schwartz in Dartmouth-Hitchcock. Going to Dr. Schwartz was life-changing, it really was. I feel very comfortable with him. I did from the first time I walked into his consult room. Sandy had been on several different hormone blocking regimens before I met her. I was pretty much facing regular chemo at the time that I came here. Dr. Schwartz was very thorough in explaining the possibility of doing a clinical trial. The treatment you get within a clinical trial is might well be better than the treatment you would get uh, with standard of care treatment. And it's also an opportunity for current patients to help advance cancer care for future patients. I believed in the science of what he was telling me and he made me feel like I wasn't a lost cause, that there was hope. She has been on the combination of alternating aromatase inhibitor and high dose estrogen for nearly a year. And uh, I think that this treatment has allowed us to push off the start of chemotherapy for her for at least a year and perhaps longer. This gives us another tool in our toolbox to treat disease that's become resistant to tamoxifen or aromatase inhibitors. I felt very privileged that I was able to do it in the six years since I've been diagnosed. I'm supposed to be sick, but I feel so well. We're already talking about the next step. First of all, we want to determine if there are predictive factors which will predict which women are gonna benefit from estrogen therapy for their breast cancer. And next, we're gonna think about whether there might be other drugs we can give along with the estrogen to make the estrogen work better. We really are living in the most exciting time in cancer research because our fields grow exponentially and we can do so much more now than we were able to do five, 10, or even 20 years ago. The efforts we're putting into doing clinical trials today are gonna to help the care of people with breast cancer uh, years into the future.